everybody. <clears throat> it's me, James Life. Um, in today's video, you guys were asking me actually in my comments if I could make a video about how I came to Japan. So I'm going to make a small Q&A about me. So first, my name is Anna. <laughs> actually, it's not Jane. Um, I'm 21 years old. And I came to Japan in the 28th December in 2019. So like today, last year. So it's one year. Yay. <laughs> um, what can I tell you guys about? I came to Japan because ever since I was a little kid, I was kind of like interested in anime and mangas. Like I grew up with Pokemon, Digimon, One Piece, Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. So it always was kind of like a part of my life and ever since I was a kid I really wanted to learn Japanese or I, I wanted, wanted to learn about the culture and stuff and I, I always decided to move to Japan at one point. I mean I'm not fully moved here because I'm still only on a working holiday visa and um, right now my visa only keeps getting extended because of corona so I have to kind of deal with that. But I'm kind of saving money to be able to, yeah, to, to get a student visa, but it's very really expensive. You should really have support from your family because the tuition fees are like so expensive. Like uh, for the one I want, I would have need to pay 807,000 yen. Mm. So why did I come to Japan is what I told you already. And yes, it sounds super cringe and we may like so, but it is the truth. So that's how I came to Japan. Um, so when I was last year from June, still working at the insurance company, um, I was already asked by them, like, what do you want to do after your release? Because they will, would have released me anyways in December. It will eventually they like, kept having me but I wanted I didn't want it to work there much longer. I like my job though. It was easy and it was like highly paid. But yeah, how can I say this? It just was no match. And I decided that with the Christmas money I got, like uh, in Germany we get the specific, uh, like a bonus. I don't know other countries, I know Japan has it too. But in Germany, it's like a specific amount. So you have, you get it lots of times actually in the year. And on Christmas, I got like a huge bonus. So I was just like, do I go to America or do I go to Canada? Because I really like Canada. So I was actually thinking, should I go to Canada? Should I go to Japan or Korea? And I was really thinking between actually America and Japan. So I was like... Mm, I want to go to America, but I also want to go to Japan. Uh, but if I go to America, I could use my English. I could improve my English. I could work, actually. Or uh, even, like, get a green card at some point. <laughs> like, I mean, I could get, actually, somewhere in America or Canada. Instead of, like, Japan. Because my Japanese is not perfect. I'm still learning. Thank you, Shimos. But, yeah, it's not good. I have to take my boyfriend everywhere I go for help, which is not really what I want, honestly. <laughs> I really wish I wouldn't have to take him anywhere I go, but yeah. So I decided I go for Japan because I always wanted to go to Japan. I mean, I have been to Japan a year before in Nagoya, but I was just like, mm, do I have a reason to go to Japan? I had one. This person turned out to be absolutely addicted to drugs, <laughs> but he had a car and he could take me up from he could pick me up from the airport. So I kind of used him for that. And he was like, oh, it's just a creative person," and he started stalking me. But that's a story for another another video. So yeah, sometimes people ask me, "Is?" Japan really that 
anime cringy weeby area like is it really that kawaii as everybody says no it's just as every as any other country so you have more options to do stuff but like more funny things like in germany you don't have the karaoke or you don't have the amusement centers so here is like kind of like special so we like it and what else I never really thought about getting a boyfriend in the first place because I was just like you know I'm just focusing on my working holiday visa I just focus on work traveling because I had stuff in my mind I wanted to visit the um, crave of a famous samurai ninja so I wanted to see it and I wanted to go to Mount Fuji but my I don't know it's just my work just put me into like lots of like trouble and I was mentally having the issues I still do because of my current job and I was just really bored and I wanted to learn the language so bad and it's just like at some point you if you're not really good at learning the language you just get lost and I was just like I want to learn the language so I give hello talk a shot uh, hello talk hello talk I hate this app I really do because it's literally a dating app although it's used for learning languages but the girls they another level of craziness but yeah I wasn't trying to get a boyfriend he wasn't trying to get a girlfriend he just got out of a relationship which is crazy girl not a level it's just not even worse than hello talk girls she was crazy I had to deal with her on my own which is also why I'm mentally not really stable I guess but yeah so basically I guess I don't really know because it's difficult so to say it is really difficult because you never know on which point if you're able to go through because lots of foreigners who come to Japan for the working holiday visa are actually giving up they just go back to the to their own countries but my my dad my stepdad he was doing the um, the bets with his friend friends from work as how long I will be able to stay in Japan and it was just like there's corona going on I'm not getting enough paid human I'm gonna prove you wrong I'm gonna stay in that country and I did I don't really proud myself for that but I probably would have been going back to Germany if I hadn't met my boyfriend which I met on Hello Talk so back to that topic I met him there and we were just clicking because we were doing kind of the same things at the same time so he was like i'm sorry i didn't reply to you on time because i was playing knives out with my friend <laughs> and i was like oh really i was just playing that too because at that time we had the lockdown we couldn't really do anything and i was off work so i was just like playing nice out and also i was sick at that time so i wasn't allowed to go back to work because my bosses were worried that i have corona which i didn't have so yeah basically that's how we met and he's a scorpio and i'm a cancer if that matters it was said uh, that those zodiac signs go along well but we don't we love each other but as you can see my other video was about autism and you might know by now that i'm autistic so it's a bit hard to get along with me but I wouldn't say it's that difficult because if you know my traits it's easy but I cannot get along with humans it's like really hard for me to like communicate the, the body language and expressions face expressions and stuff so this is like a really, really like difficult part for me 
and because he takes everything serious because he's a logical thinker and I'm an emotional thinker so there's also a difference he doesn't get along with that and I don't get along with the other part but we're, we're tr I'm trying to work on it because right now I'm trying to find a new um, a new psychologist if you know anybody write it in the box below or if you are a psychologist reach out to me uh, under Jin's Delivery um, Japan Jin's Delivery Japan at gmail.com and it's like inserted here and yeah it would be super nice to have somebody like that who can actually like help me of course I pay um, but yeah that's just like one of my main problems because I feel like I need help but on the other side, I know my problem, so I, I know I'm already diagnosed with it, but just, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. So I'm kind of like trying to be liked by everybody, but yet everybody hates me. And back to the boyfriend part. My boyfriend doesn't get along with my um, characteristics. And that's a huge problem. And I think if that keeps happening, the relationship goes nowhere. If I'm honest. And I'm scared of that. Because I really love my boyfriend. And I think so does he. And that's why he's still not home. Because he's very angry today with me. Because apparently I did something bad. However, um, that's not the important thing here. The important thing is... Oh, it's almost 11. The important thing here is that I came to Japan because when I was young I liked manga and I liked anime and those kind of things. So yeah, uh, that's my reason why I came to Japan. Um, it's already like 12 minutes, so it's a long video. So I'm gonna keep it short from here on because I'm already like having like lots of like side like small conversations which I don't like to have because that's one of my traits I get like I get like I have this problem that I keep like getting distracted easily and that's sh that shouldn't happen so if you like my video leave a like leave a subscribe and turn on notifications but you don't have to it's totally free you can do if you like but if you don't want to it's absolutely fine too and write in the comments what type of video you want to have next. Uh, if you have, if you want to have more specific videos, just write in the comments. I see it. I like it. I make a video about it. And if you have special requests, you can always write me on here, jinsdeliverygapan at gmail.com. I'm always responding very quickly. Uh, you could also text me on Facebook. It's my crew. I write it in the biography. Uh, Jin's delivery. There is a little samurai. It's like my profile picture here on YouTube. You can just see it. And that's about it. I hope everybody stays safe during the new lockdown in Germany or wherever you are. And wherever you are, I wish you a beautiful night, beautiful midday, morning, whatever. Love you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.